Hello everybody and welcome back to the next video in my Match 3 series. Uh, today we're going to go ahead and um, get our matching logic up and running, or at least most of it. So um, when we last left off the board is made and you can swap gems with one another. And there is an issue we need to fix if you open up the feeler script. Uh, in the on trigger exit uh, function, you want to change this to remove neighbor instead of add neighbor. Uh, go ahead and go to the gem uh, class, and we're going to make this a public field because uh, we're going to need color later on in another class. And we're going to make two more uh, fields. They're going to be properties. Uh, it's going to be the x chord and a property is it's like a variable but a variable that, that's really a function and it has you know a get it has a get and a set method inside of it getting is uh, to get the value of this variable and setting is to set it um, we're going to go ahead and return a math dot uh, round to int, and we're going to return the transform dot uh, position. No, I think local position dot x. And so this is going to be our x chord, and we're going to copy this, paste it, and change this to y for our y coordinate. All right. And we're going to need one more field. The public bool is matched. So that we can say that when this gem is matched, we're going to set this flag to being matched. And then we'll handle it. Uh, that's all we need to do there. And here, um, after our update, we need to go ahead and determine whether or not the swap uh, actually triggered uh, an, an actual real swap. Um, so. I'm going to make a variable, call it um, amount to match. And this is going to represent the amount of gems in a row that you need to match. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a function uh, check match. And I'm going to call this after we swap the gems. All right, so check match is going to create uh, two lists so that we can check through those lists and or construct the lists so that we can uh, determine if those lists are valid and contain a match in them. Um, so we're going to need a list of uh, gem, gem one list, and a list of gems gem2 list and we need another function uh, construct match list and this thing is going to be a recursive function that's going to kind of expand out from one of these gems to the next gem to the next gem to the next gem checking each gem's neighbors for the color that it's at and in the position that it's at. Um, so how we're going to do this is that uh, we're going to have a string called a color. We're going to have a gem called a gem. Um, we're going to have an int x chord, an int y chord, and a reference to a list of gems. Uh, the match list. Um, so what this function is going to do is we're going to we're going to see if um, the x chord 
equals our gem dot x chord or the y chord equals the gem dot y chord. If it does, we want to loop through all of our gems or all of our neighbor's gems. And then we want to call this function again on in each one. Uh, color G X chord Y chord and ref match list. Um, before this, we need to check for some of our base cases. Um, so one of them is if the gem is null. So if what we pass in is not valid, we're going to return. Um, if the ge uh, if the gem dot color does not equal color, we're going to return. Um, if the match list dot contains uh, the gem, we're going to return. Oh. We're going to return otherwise we're going to add this gem to our list. Uh, 